Let us switch continents and travel east to Vietnam and Southeast Asia, on the coast of the South China Sea, a conduit to the Pacific Ocean. Despite the great distance between the countries, Ghana and Vietnam share many values and norms in common, not the least of which is their warm, tropical climates. Also, a historical fact is the friendship between their revolutionary nationalist presidents in the 1960s, Ghanaian Kwame Krumah and Vietnamese Ho Chi Minh. With an agricultural-based economy, the largest export out of Vietnam is the fishing industry, which emanates from the oceans and freshwater basins such as the Mekong River. The largest cash crop is rice. Women and men alike tend to farming. In fact, in terms of work, women in Vietnam can be found doing the same labor as men. In my travels, I readily saw Vietnamese women pumping gas, serve as golf caddies, and manually pick up trash. Gender is a major identifier in everyday life, as is one's age and family. Hear from Dao, an English teacher in Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, explain greetings in Vietnam. First of all, they would like to know that how old are you? They ask you, are you married? Are you single? Or how many children do you have? But old age is important. If you, you greet someone that older than you, for example, if you are 20 and the people you meet is about 50 or over 50, you say, chào ông for a man and chào bà for a woman. If she's just a little older than you, you say, chào cô for a woman. In Vietnam, no physical embrace or signal is made upon greeting another person unless a bow to an elderly person. Like in Ghana, proverbs known as Ka Dao in Vietnam are also important mediums to teach mores to children. One such Ka Dao, fish without salt, is spoiled, meaning children who don't obey their parents are spoiled. Valuing the oral tradition, Vietnamese culture maintains great love for poetry and singing. Folk ways practiced by men and women alike. In Vietnam, most people have one of the seven common surnames, which all coincide with the dynasty or royal family from the past. First or given names are not generally the same name as living kin or deceased kin. Amore, so as not to disrespect the elderly or ancestors, which are highly valued in the culture. In the Vietnamese language, which was transcribed into the Latin alphabet by a French clergy during the colonial era, there are six intonations for every word. In Vietnamese, we have uh, six tones. For example, for one simple word like um, ma. If you say ma, we say that is the word and it has flat tone. And if you put Ton on it is become um, six different words and has six different meanings. For example, you say ma, 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 ma. ma. When we say ma, this ghost. But when we say ma, that's mom. And ma, it means but. Existing in Vietnam are 54 different ethnic groups, thus as many dialects are spoken. One indigenous ethnic group is the Cham people shown here, who later fled to Cambodia after the Vietnamese invaded what was once Cham land and now Vietnam. Replacing royalty and traditional rule in contemporary Vietnam is the communist state, which affects all aspects of life. Communist doctrine fosters the value of patriotism to the government which also increases the level of paranoia in everyday life. Religion in Vietnam is not the important value as we saw in Ghana. Although Buddhism, Catholicism, and other Christian religions, and to a lesser degree Islam, and traditional religions, are practiced. The government certainly mandates more allegiance to communism than these religions. Yet, many homes contain a shrine to Buddha with reverence to deceased ancestors. A natural extension of communism is the value of communalism, 
readily apparent in Vietnam, especially when traveling to the Gemeinschafts. A kadao correlating to this value. Two vegetables live together with love, even though they come from different roots. Meaning, if you see someone poor in your neighborhood, share with him or her. The schema for social geography in Vietnam starts on the local level with a hamlet, which is part of a larger commune, which is part of a larger ward, which is part of a larger district, which is part of a larger province. Every hamlet has officials, often invisible, who serve to keep order in the community. To speak against the government would be illegal, immoral, and socially understood to be wrong. The value of communalism can be shown in the organization of the Capital Aid for the Employment of the Poor microcredit program in Vietnam, which serves typically low-income village or rural women, and some men who are marginal to the political and economic climate. Like in Ghana, microcredit is used to uplift people out of poverty. This microcredit program in Vietnam has served over 20,000 people. Finding statistics on poverty is challenging. Since reunification after the American War in Vietnam, social science research and sociology in particular have become defunct. Many people, especially men, migrate to the cities in search of work in the factories which are often owned by transnational corporations. In the microcredit programs in Ghana and Vietnam, the women work in groups and guarantee each other's loans. In the event of a default on a loan, the group members must pay back the loans. A similar measure of communalism is the group farming. Rarely, if ever, did I witness a single person in a rice field. Sharing of personal space is a folk way in most social settings. An offshoot of the value of communalism is the value of the family or filial devotion. Another kadao, referring to the importance of family and its cohesion. Extended family relations are the norm. Living with her parents and grandparents, Quinn recites some of the knowledge gained from her grandfather. I would like to say that our traditional New Year is the most important holiday. New Year falls on sometime between um, late January and mid-February on your calendar. It lasts three days, but actually it begins as early as seven days before. Every family makes various kinds of sugar reserved fruit which will be offered later to friends or relatives or visitors during the New Year holidays. The ancestor's altar is clean and the bronze incense burner is polished brightly. When the New Year's Eve comes, we organize a ceremony in the open air to welcome the batches from the on to the New Year. The Han family stay up late uh, to wait for the exact time, which means midnight, when the New Year's begin. Then we get together to toast the New Year. On the next day, that is the first day of the New Year, we devote ourselves to worshipping our ancestors and wish our grandparents parents happiness, longevity, and prosperity. To go against the family is immoral. This is evidenced in the beloved folk book, Tell of Q, Q forsakes her lover to protect her parents from harm. The Audai, for women, is the formal dress for weddings or other significant ceremonies or events. It is expected that women marry and bear children. Educated women tend to have fewer children, but like in Ghana, in more traditional circles, having many children is highly valued and is a traditional measure of success. This proverb speaks to the often greater value placed upon boy children. One son means you have, ten daughters means you have nothing. Incidentally, polygamy, marrying many wives, is virtually a folk way, although against the law. Historically, great value was placed on education in Vietnam, but the teaching profession is becoming devalued. Schooling is free only for the children of the guerrilla fighters from North Vietnam, who supported the revolutionary Ho Chi Minh. Others might pay $36 and higher per year. Allegedly, parents of more than 2 million children cannot afford the school fees. Those with greater wealth send their children through secondary school or even university. V, a member of CEP microcredit program, stated that she would like to have a loan to continue her education through university. 
but loans for education are not yet available. If I have uh, the chance, I, I, I will want to join the university and I want to be a teacher like you. Formal education is given in the Vietnamese language. One can learn English in an after-school program. Another after-school activity is to attend a two-hour education on politics. Even for those aged 15 to 30, this government class is virtually law. For those over 30, membership in the Communist Party is virtually law. Similarly, it is a mandatory law for people to vote or they face legal sanctions. Unlike Ghana, the education is not Western in the sense from Western Europe or the U.S., but rather based on the Russian system. Philosophy courses, for example, tend to neglect Greek philosophy while focusing on Leninism and Marxism profusely. Another important value is subsistence. Take, for instance, the coconut. The white meat inside is eaten and the coconut water quenches thirst. The shell is used as a bowl and the outside riffraff is used to kindle a fire or fertilize soil. Many Vietnamese are well connected to nature. For example, I witnessed a woman pick up a tarantula with her bare finger. Thuê, a moped taxi driver in Da Lat, explained that survival is part of the Vietnamese spirit. Our spirit transcends our struggles. Certainly, this value of subsistence can partially explain the success of the North Vietnamese over the South Vietnamese who allied with the U.S. in the American War in Vietnam, as it is called in Vietnam. Make the, the booby trap to stop American coming. So everything to be recycled by Vietnamese. As revealed in the display at the Cú Chi Tunnels, the guerrilla fighters used their connections with nature to defeat the massive weaponry and artillery of the U.S. military. Underground tunnels were used as temporary housing for the delivery of babies, for medical quarters, as well as food preparation and consumption. The Vietnamese diet is quite varied, but some form of rice and vegetables accompany nearly every meal. The folk way of eating Vietnamese food is generally with chopsticks, and sometimes with an accompanying spoon. Families may eat on the floor or at a table. A proverb linking the family with the chopsticks metaphor. One chopstick is not strong, but many together will not break. Rice is a staple of the Vietnamese diet and may be consumed as steamed rice, rice noodles, and rice paper. Rau thom, or fresh vegetables such as basil or bean sprouts, accompanies many meals. Bon is a wrapped food item. Special types of bon are prepared for special occasions such as Tet Festival. An array of luscious tropical fruits are regularly consumed in the Vietnamese diet. These fruits include passion fruit, dragon fruit, lychee, longan, jackfruit, mango, and oranges. Meat such as pork, chicken, or beef, or the multitude of fresh seafood including shellfish is also consumed. Some remnants from the French colonial era remain in the foods such as baguettes, croissants, or the café sur, or café sur da. When entering traditional coffee shops in Vietnam, one may conclude that it is illegal for a woman to venture in, as it is rare to see a woman, yet it is merely a folk way for men to frequent the coffee shop. Foods can also be utilized for healing or medicinal uses through the use of traditional Chinese medicine, such as teas or mushrooms. This snake wine is used to heal men's lower back or what might be inside of his back. Use your imagination. Herbal essential oils, such as peppermint oil, are used in conjunction with a massage to cure a headache, stomachache, backache, or even flatten the stomach. Incidentally, a gender norm for women is to be thin and to have light skin, which explains the covering of the body and protection from the sun. The massage can be applied via the hands or even via coins. Whatever form, massage is easy to come by in Vietnam. One can purchase a massage anywhere in the towns or cities for as low as two U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars can go far in Vietnam. In 2005, one U.S. dollar equals just over 15,000 dong, the local currency. As we leave Vietnam, let us consider a few ways in which the U.S. culture connects with Vietnam. 
young people are increasingly adopting Western values, norms, and popular culture. Many informed me that materialism is a common value in Vietnam. Young people voice their desires to be a singer or entertainer, which is regarded as a way to make a lot of money. In fact, I heard a Vietnamese rapper in a karaoke club in Saigon referencing Snoop Dogg and Long Beach. I observed a Britney Spears and Jennifer Lopez screensaver on a computer at the microcredit office. Tupac, Eminem, and 50 Cent were mentioned as favorite artists. The karaoke clubs could be purely for mu musical entertainment for foreigners and Vietnamese alike, yet many are fronts for the sex industry, which recruits Vietnamese women to service the Asian, European, and American tourists. Other Vietnamese simply want to travel to the U.S., which is actually not simple at all. If one wants to buy Americanized food in Vietnam, one will pay more. For example, this meal costs about $3, but a local dish of pho, which is beef or chicken noodles, may cost less than $1. These brothers regularly ask their parents to take them for American fast food. They were busy showing me the symbols they learned from the Spider-Man film. Precisely, the pirating film industry is certainly a normal part of the economy. What shows in the movie theaters in the U.S. now is likely to already be on the DVD store shelves in Vietnam. Many internet cafes dot the landscape of a large city like Hanoi or Saigon. Many Vietnamese communicate with Americans, possibly in search of friendship, marriage, school fees, or assistance with securing a visa to travel out. It is not an anomaly to find American Vietnamese travel to Vietnam in search of a bride. Other American Vietnamese travel back to reunite with their family and visit their homeland, which many fled during the Civil War in Vietnam. Still other American veterans, black, white, and Latino, travel back to Vietnam to reflect and sometimes heal from the psychological wounds from the American War. Even a visual norm or lingering effect of the war can be seen in the number of disabled people in Vietnam who continue to suffer from Agent Orange or live with severed limbs from the dropping of bombs on their Gemeinschaft. Yes, in Hanoi, you know Hanoi, the, the capital of Vietnam, there were the, uh, the conference talking about the Agent Orange of America. Uh, with the estimation of the scientists, there are five million Vietnamese affected the Agent Orange of America. So they agreed to pay more for building hospital and accommodation.